Warning, what you are about to hear goes against traditional romantic counsel expressed by friends, family, and Instagram memes and quotes. Open-mindedness is advised. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. And welcome to another edition of the Senate. I am your host, Neil Hoyt. And as always, I am joined by my other host, the other host of this uh, podcast, Derek Marshall. Um, Derek, what is your story? What's your I am here, my brother. I am well. I am good to go. What about you, man? Tell me what's going on. Well, right now I got a slight headache, but other than that, the show must go on. Um, you know, yeah, man, it must, we can keep it, it must. pushing. We can keep it moving. Um, you know, as always, at the beginning of the uh, uh, before everything um, got started, you would have heard um, and seen some videos from G Syndicate, and as always, I asked Derek to plug G Syndicate. Let us know. Um, where we can find you syndicate what's happening with you syndicate for those of you that are new to the podcast yes uh g syndicate we are the premier vocal band this side of the world i suppose they yeah, in the care the caribbean uh we do vocal music no instruments we make all the instruments with our mouths good night to see my boy omar brother in the house early tonight good stuff um yes we make all the music with our mouths so all the trumpets drums bass uh, guitars, everything you hear that's just vocally produced. Um, nothing in our pockets or anything like that. And even in our recorded stuff, the stuff you hear, all that music that you hear on the recording is done via the human voice. So, yeah, that's what we do. We do a whole set of genres. Uh, we do all the R&B and stuff that boys and men would do that you associate with acapella music. We do all that. Um, I mean, it's placing a little bit of jazz and definitely a lot of Caribbean rhythms. So you do the spooge, reggae, dance, hall, soca, all of those genres we cover and we put it together very nicely for you. So you can check us out at G-Syndicate6, at gsyndicate6.com, G-Syndicate6 on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Yeah, so that's what we do, man. Listen up for some more music coming very, very, very soon. We're going to have some new stuff for you, some interesting collaborations going on. So, stuff to look forward to. All right. All right. So, uh, good night. Seeing some more people uh, coming into the, the live, making themselves known. Um, good night, Jennifer. Good night, Natalia. No. On Tuesday, last episode of the Senate, we would have um, had the topic of essentially what, what, is the pro- what are the problems with men today? Uh, yes. We had a very special guest, Dion. We thank her again. Um, she came on um, speaking from her perspective as a woman, what men need to work on, to level up on, to, to take stock of and to do in order to improve themselves and make themselves what we need, a high value man um, or a man that any woman would be interested in. Um, so she came and she, she gave some very good insight. Pretty much it was very concise. She gave two points that men need to work on. Uh, one of them being communication and the other one which essentially boiled down to emotional maturity. Um, so, so for example, we can basically anything that comes down to infidelity or immaturity in a man or, or um, possessiveness or, or any of these things that happen that men do. Uh, which are the stereotypes for men, uh, can really be boiled down to um, emotional immaturity. And to be honest, we know that we can liken this to women as well. However, tonight, we're going to touch on women. We don't have any guests because we're two men, and who better to speak on, you know, women than two men, two heterosexual men that have been around the block, right? So we're going to have a little talk about Derek, as usual, with... um, I think it was today or yesterday, I can't remember, but he would have posted his Facebook post um, asking the question, what um, do women need to do? What's the problem with women today? And what do women need to do to level up? And I found, actually found some of the comments very interesting. Actually, I I found some of them very humorous. Um, And on top of that today too, we would have seen a meme that replaced some of these female empowerment quotes and memes and everything that we saw the 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 genders um, swapped right 
And um, it was very interesting, the response to that as well. So, Derek Marshall, I'm going to give the floor to you, brother. You are going to lead us in sermon this evening and get <laughs> things started. Yes. So the question is, what is wrong with today's, right? And um, I saw, I see, see my, let me shout out some of the people in the chat already. You see uh, Natalia here, Jennifer as always, Steve as always. Chris Ashe, I assume that's, I, I pray that that's the right pronunciation. No, Chris Ashe, I just want to say, uh, she is, um, that is uh, Christina, uh, Mark's um, uh, sister. Remember that the girl oh, wear glasses. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, all right, I got you covered now. I got you covered now. Good Griffin. Uh, another, another story for another day. Yeah, bring Griffin, bring Griffin. Sab uh, that is Sabre, I hope, Sabre. Uh, my man, uh, John Nicole. That's John Nicole. Just, okay, I know. Cool. Just, you know Show to all the people in the house. Jimmy. Right. I saw Jimmy in traffic this morning. Hail uh, to my man, Kwame. Right. So let me get cracking, right? What right. is wrong with today's women? Um, I, I did a... I wanted to have a guest, a male guest on, but then I thought about it and I said, you know what? Uh, I, I think some of the guys, I don't know if they want that smoke. Not that they're afraid. But they might be like, eh, I don't know if juice is worth the squeeze. So yeah. they said, you know, the two of us will take the brunt of everything for everybody. As we usually do. Right? As we do. We, we take your custom to the smoke, we take the smoke, right? Um, one of the things coming out of Dion's, Dion's major point, her overarching point on Tuesday was the lack of maturity in men. And um, one person in the chat quit that we wait till we get to 40 to start showing signs of maturity, right? And mm -hmm. um, it's funny because, as we alluded to uh, very briefly, because we didn't really want to take over the conversation with that with that side of it, with this kind of like, well, we use do it too kind of thing. Um, yeah. We alluded to it goes both ways, right? And I made the comment on Tuesday that, as one of my psychology tutors would tell you, the ages are fixed, the stages are not. So people go through, you've you got to go from 1 to 10. you got to go from 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. But developmentally, you could go, you may be at 20, but still be at the development stage of 15. Mm -hmm. Or you may be at 30 and the development stage of 25. Or even, shoot, you may be ahead of the curve for your age or whatever it is. Um, and they and there is a school of thought that there's it's possible for you to be at a particular age, go through all the stages of development and then still skip back and go where you where you encounter new problems and stuff like that, you skip back to a previous stage in your development, right? Mm -hmm. So but let me get into the problems, right? And I can start because I I, I I did a kind of like a informal survey for the men who contact me and stuff like that. And one of the biggest issues men have a way it find it feels difficult to men for men, sorry, to be able to really give vibe with the women today. They they can't really kind of crystallize it. But the overarching thought for men is the women seem to be in a constant competition these days right and so let me let me just dive down into that right men compete we compete right we, we like competition that's what we do right sports anything we find a way to compete at it right shoot we could be you remember as little boys you get to the the urinal back in our days i had, had a urinal and everybody see how high you can get it or yeah, whatever yeah. right yeah, you yeah, know yeah, who could get it, who could get it in the um in the dream yeah that kind of thing we, we can just compete that's just what we do right um but here's the thing about competition right and and, and ladies now we, we live in different times we get it ladies are now forging ahead in the workforce and stuff like that and they're competing with men now in the workforce right mm -hmm. good but here's the thing about competition competition has a tendency to negate love and trust. Why? When they're competing with you, I can't fully trust you. 
Because then it's like a game. And it'll do anything to win. All right, I'll let you just stop even at my notes, all right? So, so <laughs> sorry, sorry. My fault, my fault, my fault, okay. my fault. <laughs> if I compete with you, I can't fully trust you, right? Because coming up, we, we, we gaming, we play sports at school, whatever, primary school level, all the way up, even into adulthood, we're still competing. And when you see somebody as competition, you keep them at arm's length, right? At best. At best, you keep them at arm's length. Worst case scenario, you perceive them as an outright enemy, right? So, if you don't trust somebody, you can't love them, right? You can't be vulnerable with them. You know you like that word, vulnerable. You can't be fully open with them because you you always wonder, is it a case of me sleeping with the enemy? And here's the challenge now for men. Women want love, respect, attention, protection from men. But you're still competing with men, right? And let me, so let me get down into it. When we talk, we, we talk about, we talked about that curse word a couple of weeks ago, the dreaded S word. We talked about rules and con, um, traditional rules and stuff like that. And you know, that's always a topic that people get a little flustered about and people get a little triggered because they figure that when they tell you to talk submission, I want you in the kitchen barefoot. I want you pregnant. I don't want you doing anything, right? It's not that. Right? It's not that. But if you're competing with me, if you are saying to me outright that you don't, shoot, the strong, independent woman, I don't need no man. Right? Some women telling you that flat out, I don't need a man. So if that's what you're saying, if that's you advertising to me, how, how you expect me now to come back as a man and care for you? respect you protect you because don't go for your foot right don't for your foot neil and people in the chat women still want the protection of men whether they want to admit it or not right whether they want to admit it or not they still want the protection of men i would love to see what the ladies in the chat are saying to what i'm saying right now but you but but you remember um remember that dion said on tuesday that, you know, she pretty much comes home to herself. And I know of other women, too, that right. live alone. They go to work. They cook everything. They do everything on their own. And, right. and really and truly, when you come home to that, you had a hard day at work, and you come home to that empty apartment or that empty house, um, shoot, you're talking about protection, but... Sometimes even you just want a little company. Thing, you just want some boy to download with. Yeah. And um, so, when I say uh, ladies, women still want men's protection right because they say point blank i don't need a man i don't want a man or whatever but then the government becomes your man and let me explain myself because if you are at home late at night and you hear a rustling in the bushes outside or worse yet you hear a man trying to force his way into your place you can pick up the phone you're gonna call the police, right? And guess what? You praying that when the police turn up, that it's not two women in the van. I mean, some of praying. these police women, some of these police women can uh, but, let, but I get I get the point. I get the point. I get, you, I get the point let, you're trying. Let, let me let me keep it real. Yeah, let yeah, me yeah. keep it real. You, you go see to a mob of my height, you, you go to my height your size. Correct. You, you go to a bank and you see a pregnant security guard. Shoot, you ain't in for, for um, legit business, but you see a pregnant security guard and you tell yourself, maybe I can resign in here today. Today's the day. You know what I mean? Shoot, Today's shoot, the shoot. The, the, the men security guards ain't playing nothing law resistance. Exactly. These things, so. Right? You, you go off fire that, start to give her a little, give her a hand, you pick it for you, call the fire department, you expect a man to turn up. You know what I mean? So as much as you say, yeah, you don't want no man, I ain't need no man. Let me be real. Right? Let me be real. And, and this is the system. Sorry, sorry to cross you, but this is yeah. the this is the system. Cause we hear this on some of the videos that we consume, right? That this is the system that has been built by men. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so we, we, I, I understand that that could be triggering, but there are systems in place based on the physicality of the different genders where there's somebody breaking your house, there's somebody looking to break in a bank and somebody looking to burn your house or whatever. You, we have systems in place where there are predominantly male roles. I'm not saying women can't do them. I'm not saying they're not, that women are not capable, but by and large, you would like a man, a strapping young man that comes <laughs> to your aid. So here's the challenge now with the competition thing. Ladies, if you want to compete, men, we are game to compete, right? And with hookup culture being so prevalent, you got online dating, you got dating websites and stuff like that. Dating is now becoming a sport, particularly for men. And don't be misled, I, I, because I know some people will go back and we, we got the way to exhale from the 90s. If you go further back to 1980, whatever, I think it's like 85 or so, you got the color purple. And we, we see these, um, I had one since then, to dairy a my black woman. Yeah. And we see all of these um, stereotypical, uh, overly aggressive, particularly black men mistreating, and uh, I don't want to use that word, but let's say mistreating the, the women around them. Right. Mm -hmm. But I put it to you. Now, in days of yore, men generally looked out for women. Anybody ever heard the statement, men, ladies and, and children first? And we, we built an entire entertainment industry around the concept of women and children first. A man floating up on a piece of driftwood that he could have probably get up on. <laughs> and he left the woman upon the driftwood. Uh, Boy, she said, Why? Because in his brain, that was his way of sacrificing and showing his protection or whatever, right? Now, you women have shown men, and even said that they don't need men for anything. So you can't have it both ways, right? And we can get into double standards in a little bit. But if you want to compete with men, ladies, don't expect your competitors to provide for and protect you, right? Men that's like you saying about asking. That's like you saying about asking Justin Gatlin or Justin Gatlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or wanting to like on the on the day of the 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 the, the event, you know, I'm saying, yeah, man, uh, let me get to dinner before, or let me, you know, what I mean, yeah. Me... yeah. So rather than compete, right? Rather than compete, ladies, what men have been choosing to do. It's just leave you alone. Just leave you alone. Because you've put it out there that you don't want anything to do with men. You, you said it. You could you could do bad all by yourself. Yeah, you, you got it under control. You got it covered or whatever. So, and, and here's the thing. If you say that, you advertise that, and then somebody's sliding you DMs and you blast it, buddy. I mean, men can say, you know what? Let me just leave that where it is, right? Let me just leave that where it is. But let me just let me just nip back here in the chat and see. Um, yeah, yeah, no, no. You you definitely you definitely need to need to answer some questions in this chat. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I, I I I I I plan to. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for that. Um, so let me just get in here and see what is being said. Who is ready to ether me? So very good. Because you don't need a man doesn't mean you don't want one, says Karen. Good night to you. Hi, good night, Dion. I know you you just passing through. Good night. Uh, I Kwame, I don't want to be your bodyguard. I want to be needed, damn it. Same way I need what my woman provides, otherwise I can rent whatever specific thing we itemize. Jennifer saying they really got some police women who want to see a level as men. But but Jennifer, that's, 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 to touch on that, right? That's, it, 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 don't let us get bogged down in the one-offs or a few or whatever. The, the anecdotal. Is, right. 
the point is is that by and large certain roles are pro propagated by 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 men or are, are, are done by men i'm not saying that women can't do these jobs i'm saying that is just what it is not only that Neil, and the majority of the police force is what men or women men because we're we're real. We're, because let's be honest right when life get real and vivid like if we have a natural disaster or we have you know a break-in or anything like that we are not saying there's not a place for women in in, in the think of it like this look you will need brawn you will need a, 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 an aggressive um tone or, or or physicality to deal with certain things again we're not saying that women can't do these jobs. We're not saying that women don't want to do these jobs. We're not saying women are not good at these jobs. What we are saying is, by and large, by and large, there are certain jobs that you will need. Like, for example, if a man six foot five, two hundred eighty five pounds breaking your house, Neil, check it right at the beginning of every term, right? No, I am. A teacher by profession. I've been a teacher now whew, for more than 20 years, right? And at the beginning of every term, I am called to someone's class to move a desk, move some chairs, and ain't that they ain't got nobody there to move them. So let 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 us let us be real. Because I've got shoot, I know female police officers. Right? Nobody, Nobody is saying that they don't exist. Nobody is not saying that they um Yeah, Jennifer is saying we sound in sexist. You see, Jennifer, you, you say we're and, talking and this about the thing, babe. this is the thing, right? This is the thing. Because I know we can get into a little bit of some, some shaming tactics tonight. I expect some insults to come tonight too. But hey, I am here for but, it, right? But but the reality but, there are certain yeah. things that are what they are. There are not many women in this chat right now that are bigger than me. That's just what it is. And that, that's just a fact. So to say that I am bigger than most of the women in the chat is not sexist. It is fact. And that's the, and that's the thing, right? The, the thing about it is, Jennifer, you're saying we're talking about BIM, sure, but BIM is not the world. Agreed. But look, if, let's go around the globe. Let us look at all of the police forces in any city, in any place, you will find one or two, but by and large, certain roles within society are done by men. And it's not, I'm not saying, again, we are not saying that only men can do these jobs. Men are. Da, 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 da. Let but, it be clear. But, 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 but there are certain things, and, and, and you know, it is all fine and good to sit here and say, oh, women this, women that. But when it gets real, when life gets real, and you literally 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, your window busts open, and a man out there crazy talking about he got a gun and he looking to rape. You want someone that can deal with that threat. Can women deal with the threat? Of course. But there are men trained to have that. To? Women, women can do the job, but men, men are more physically inclined or willing to do those jobs. Let me put it like that, right? And right. because of the, the differences between the sexes in terms of physicality, then it's, it's not that we are talking about, we're not being sexist. It's not, it's not, it is not sexist to say that certain emergency um, forces that have to deal with threat and threat management and threat aversion and protection are propagated by men. And, and it's, it's not, we're not saying it as, as women can't do these jobs. I want to make it very clear. We're not saying women are not capable of, capable of doing these jobs. We're not saying that. We are saying that when it comes to the actual real life threat happening to you right there and then, you, for example, if, God forbid, something happens to me and I'm in an ambulance, I'm fearful for my life, I feel like I can die. You think I want a man that is six foot five, with a, a deep thought, voice of some here. I want a woman that's reassuring. I want a woman that, that has a very soft tone and a, and, a, and a nice bedside manner. And that's not being sexist. That is for my comfort. That is me afraid of my life. And I want them out of you, man. Look, you, look, you drink too much tonight. Yeah, anyhow, come on. 
we all know and can come with anecdotal experiences and everything like that, right? But when it gets real and life comes at you in 3D, there are certain things that you want that physicality, that presence. I was looking for some idea, but I can, I can leave that where it is. Um, people are talking about the, the perception of competition. We have been, to, matter of fact, let me, let me. We've been told um, constantly, we've been told constantly that um, because we're kind of going out of our way, because I saw Dion mention it in terms of equality and stuff like that, right? Striving for equality is competition. No, right? That's not what we're talking about, right? There is room for you to flourish and be you, do you. But when it is now, you decide that you want to, for example, say you want to be the head of your household. A man wants to be the head of his household. But if you as a woman want to be head of your household and it's all you together, guess what? You're going to butt heads. It's going to be a problem. Right? Nobody is saying that you should, you should not strive to be the head of your household. But if you want a man who is also going to be the head of his household, you have got to be prepared to either give up some of your... Um, I, let me use the right word to use some of your alpha tendencies or you and that maga can't do. And here's the thing. Most men want to be the head of their household. So ladies, if you want to come to the household and say, hey, I pay all the bills in here. I do X, Y, Z in here. If that's how you want to approach that situation, you are going in and a man is going to view it as you're trying to compete to be ahead of the household or compete to be the person in charge, if you want to call it that. But he's going to see it as a competition and he's not going to deal with it. He's going to say, you know what? If you want to be head of the household, if you want to do your thing, do your thing. And a man is not going to deal with it. My look, really and truly, I agree with everything you're saying there, but I can try to break this down as simply as possible. Men and women have different energies. I think we all can agree with that. There's a feminine energy and a masculine energy. Some women have masculine energy. Some men have feminine energy. That is neither here nor there. The point is everyone has a particular energy. Now, in the context of a relationship, in the context of life, you are going to have to, you are going to have, you, as a man, we portray a certain level of energy, Right? Um, some may call it toxic, some may not. We could go circle that wagon all we want, but the fact of the matter is everybody has their particular energy. If I am a man and I have a masculine energy, right? And this is not even in the context of, of being in a domestic situation. I'm talking about straight dating. I'm talking about straight relationship. I'm talking about straight engagement. I am a man, I have my male energy. You're a woman, you have your male energy too. It's almost like, I know a lot of us have been out in, 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 all of us have been in circles where, especially with men, that men trying to out drink men, men trying to, oh, my, we, we've all heard it. Man, look, I had this girl here, my dying nothing. I had this girl here, my dying nothing. I won't drink so much, my dying nothing. I had a car that went from zero to 60, my dying nothing. We know that that energy exists. That is the competition energy. And we are saying that we also know of, 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 of women that try to match that energy. It is also the same as saying, if we were flipping the script to say that we don't want a man to match a feminine energy. You want to be, as women, you want to be soft, you want to be feminine, you want to, to be pampered and taken care of and, and, and protected, right? And a man also wants that, then there's a disconnect. That's all we're saying. We're saying that there is a particular energy that men have and women have by and large. I'm not talking about anecdotal. I'm not talking about here and there. I'm talking about by and large. So if I have a male energy and I am, you know, I, and, and again, it could be a discussion. It could not be a discussion. I take the lead on things that when it comes to lifting things, when it comes to protection, when it comes to um, 
you know, play with the kids. When it comes to certain things, I have that energy. I always bring the example of in my life, for my son, I am the play. I am the guy to get them for the ground play. We're going outside, daddy, we're going to beach. Daddy, we're going to play football. Daddy, we're going to run. We're going to run trap. We're going to play this and that and the next. But when it comes to nurturing, when it comes to comfort, I don't want to see me. In my belly hurting him or his head hurting him or he's sick. I am the last person he wants to see. He wants to see his mother, his grandmother, or, well, any of the two of his grandmothers. And that's the point. The point that we're saying here is, is that you have to understand yourself, understand what you are good at, and things that you want to relinquish to the other person. And if you come in into a situation and you want to put your chest and say, well, well shoot, you know, I, I, I want to do this and I want to do that. You always matching the energy you want to see. Like, I drink in a beer, you like, shoot, let me see how much beer I could drink here with you. And you, then I got, I, I got a woman, I got a best, I got a, a male friend, I got a boy. I got, you know, like you're, you're hanging with the boys and you match that energy. And that's the competition part of it because there are some women out there that feel a need to speak to men and, and, and move toward men in a very masculine way, in a masculine energy. How many women we know that say, hoi, we're getting on, hoi, Marshall, we're getting on. That is, <laughs> that is what men do. That is, that is from basketball, soldiers, that's just what we do. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm not saying that women can't do that, but I'm just bringing an example. So it's similar to that. If you are bringing a masculine energy to me, and I have a masculine energy to you, but it's two, it's two bulls in the pain. Correct. You got, we like, see, it, how, we like, see how like, that works in, in nature. And see nature. Works in nature and, right? and I know a lot of you, and a lot of you are going to say that there are some species that have the women being the alpha and dominant. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, we are not saying that women cannot be the alpha and the dominant. We are not saying that. But you got to have a balance. Yin and yang. My, my guy Kwame is saying stats, not feelings, which is why I was kind of Googling just now um, as we were talking to you. Uh, only 12.8% of full-time law enforcement officers were female. Wait, well, 87.2% of law enforcement officers were male. And I'm pretty sure that would hold in the same proportions if you look at the defense force, the Coast Guard, and as here, Trinidad, Jamaica, all over the world and other places, you can find that you can hold like that. That's just reality, right? Um, Natalia is saying there are things men do, I know I can do, but ultimately I want to protect her. Kevin is saying when we can't take things as how they really are and our only defense is to say men against women or vice versa, the avenue for wisdom or insight is definitely lost. Amen. Mm -hmm. Karen, mm -hmm. I hear people talking about being the head of the household, but that's a traditional concept. Today's man don't want traditional. I would argue that point. That is so far from true. Men would prefer, and again, it depends on what you consider to be traditional, but I'm gonna. I'm not gonna dismiss the, the the premise, but let me adjust the word and say today's men actually want cooperation, cooperativeness, niceness. And if we say cooperation, and we think cooperation, there must be submission. I guess Whether what? it is cooperation by the man that compromise, submission, whatever you want to call it. But Neka has a question. Uh, men wish to be the head of your household, but let's say the, they run the household to the ground or are not mature enough to be successful at it. No, they just give away because the man wants to be the head. Here's a quick thing um, to that, Neka. Um, I would suggest, I don't want to take my hand a little too early, but you got to choose, a, you got to choose carefully when you get into something with somebody. If you get into something with somebody and you realize, for example, um, I don't know. Let me say you, you were in a relationship with somebody and um, say you were an accountant maker and your man can't manage money to save your life. It would be remiss of you to allow that man to handle the money. It just won't make sense because, as you say, you're running the ground, right? Uh, Dion, I see my parents live this life where... For all intents and purposes, my dad is ahead. His name is on all the bills, etc. But my mom does all the things. So for me, there are times when and situations where the leader is different. 
No, no, no. That, that's the whole the whole thing about it is right. We we get him bogged down in certain things. If you got if you are in a relationship with somebody, and I always bring this up, Nick and me and you in a relationship, right? We agree that you go foreclose. You agree that I go cook food, or you you go cook food and I go wash dishes. Yeah, we agree with that. Once you cooking, you're the better cook. We acknowledge that. You do the cooking, I do the cleaning up. No. I realize that you're cooking chicken dry, as I like to say it, right? And I realize every time, you know, the food is not the best or anything like that. Then I would say, look, you know what? Maybe I should, or, or every time we you cook or you don't feel like cooking or, or there's a discrepancy in, in the role that you are doing, that we have agreed that you take charging and you are not being consistent with it, then I, I think it is incumbent on me to say, look, you know what? Maybe that is not your strength. I will take over that duty. Just like what you're saying, if the man is taking over the household and the man is running the, the ship in the ground, it's, it's just like any other job in the world. Somebody any other job in the world. If you, if a man, if, if somebody ain't given the result that he was hired to do, then you take over the job. And you demote the person, if you want to look at that like that. Yeah, yeah. You may not want to use those words in that term, but that is it. If you have a CEO you, you got of a Fortune 500 country, you you in a Fortune 500 country um, uh, company, and you have a a, a a a CEO where the last five years the company making twelve million dollars, and this year it met six, next year it met five, third year it met three. You can let the market team run the shipping grow to appease his ego. No, you're gonna say, look, brother, maybe you should try something else. Maybe you should try advertising. Maybe you should try, I don't know. Gardening, I know. Try something different. But but we are not saying that if a man is not good, I mean, we're not saying that if a man is not good at it, he should be here because he's a man. We're not saying that. Um, I saw another comment there where Tanisha was saying, um, "Thank you very much, Tanisha, for joining us, and thanks for the comment." Where it is problematic to say that a child runs to one parent for one thing and another parent for another. I'm not saying that. I was given the example of myself and the way my family structure is, is set up, right? In another relationship, in another family, a boy may run to his mother to play and his father for, for, for comfort. I'm not saying that. Basically, what I'm saying is, is that certain things give certain energies. I'm not, this is, we're not talking holistically. I'm not saying every man does give off a masculine energy and every woman does give off a feminine energy. We, both, we have both of them in us. Some are more pronounced than others in the individual. And once you understand that, you understand, okay, we have a child together, we have a daughter, and the daughter likes to run around and play with mommy. But when she's sick, she runs into daddy. Then that is my role. My role is to nurture, and your role is to rumble and play. We are not, I am not going to compete with you to try to fight you to play with, with, with the little girl if she don't want to. It is just what we are saying is that within the context of your relationship and your family and whatever is there, you have to understand that there are rules and people are better at certain things than others. So if somebody is able to completely, if, if somebody is able to consistently execute a role to the best of their ability and it be nothing great results, then I don't have a problem with a, a man or woman doing it. Kevin is saying, the only thing I agree with that point, Neil, is uh, for me, I want someone who will be able to reach me and calm me because you can have a beautiful female that re you remind her of who hurt her, and she might tell you she won't be dead. Wow, all right, a little dark, in a, in a hurry. Yeah. Karen, it's okay to say such, but he needs to be deserving of the role of the head, not just yes. scream it to the clouds because he named man. Amen. And on that, we agree. But we can touch on a little bit. Cross is saying, careful with saying feminine energy is to be soft. I, you see, you see, I never said that. I said everybody has a masculine and feminine energy. Typically, women are better at taking care of people than men are in terms of emotion. That is just nature. That yeah, it's, just, where, it's where you will find that um, nursery, people at nursery, teachers at nursery schools and uh, daycares and stuff like that tend to be female, right? So Cross is saying it's kind of a problem to say a child isn't going to go to his dad right. for comfort and emotional support. Um, I don't think that that's exactly what, what he's but saying. 
she, um, she kind of clears it up here later. Like the last thing that came through, I think she kind of because I touched on that, and she's saying uh, that's not what I, was, what I was saying, Neil. I'm saying that regardless of your masculine or feminine energy, you should be able uh, to be that emotional support for your child. That's okay. Well, yes, we agree. Right. I'm not saying that if daddy can only like for my son. Yes, I am the the the, the go to play person. Uh, his mother is the go to nurturer, but I can nurture my son. Yeah. And I, my, his mother could play with him. So it's, it's, I completely agree. I understand, you know. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Yeah, Nick is saying, can I invalidate anything a man says with respect to how this topic is viewed because I'm not a male? Too often, though, men appear intimidated by what is perceived by a strong or independent woman. What is that? We can talk about that. Don't worry. We can talk about mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that's not what Derek said. It is how you say it. I'm not sure. I think if that is Jennifer, I think she was talking about. Um, when you were saying uh, um, the the in terms of the police force and and um, you know, I can only assume. I'm not. I can let her clear that. Let me speak for Jennifer. Um, are you sure you want that? Uh, so, our feeling as to why, um, with res that's what Kevin is asking with, res with respect to Nathan's point. My lord, good to see you, my brother. A very talented musician, guys. This is my lord Clark, an awesome saxophonist. Uh, if you've got any gigs, book my lawn, but pay me a percentage, right? Uh, my lawn, Claire, I strongly believe in gender equality 100%. However, I also believe in gender roles where parenting is concerned. Uh, my lawn is younger than I am, right? Significantly. Steve, everyday example of subconscious male slash female energy. Look at the way woman versus how you wave slash hail a man. So true. Kwame, there's a difference between strong and independent and belligerent, argumentative, or combative. Amen. We conflate the two, but they are way different. I do believe most men have no issues with strong and independent, and that is a fact. Most men, right? Because I think Neil and I might be, I think Steve a little older than us. Sorry about that, Steve. Um, Who's Steve? Which Steve is it? Steve who? Walker. No, you actually older than Steve, right? Good. Yeah, you older than Steve. Why talking much? <laughs> you're making a scene. <laughs> you're talking like right? you bet is shit. But most of us, most of us in this in this particular form right now, I am pretty sure we are down for, um, you know, strong women. That's what we grew up with. We say that every week here on this show. We grew up with strong. I I was raised by two very very strong women. Strong, <laughs> strong, strong women. I, this is what this is. We had into 2021, so which means my mother is 73 years old. That what? My mother is 73 years old. I know you saw her today. You won't believe it, right? My mother is 73 years old, and I think I know she was around my mother's age. At oh, 73 wow. years old, my mother was like, well, I think well, 70. She was probably 71 when she did it. She was like, you know what? This catching bus and walking thing. Ain't really for me. And then they got confused. My son didn't even want to drop or something. And she went back a yard, right? Yeah, I, I saw it. I saw it today. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Because she she means she's to get wrong. She ain't mm. waiting for nobody. She ain't sticking up for nobody. You know what I mean? Strong woman. My aunt, same thing. Carpenter lagging. Brandy, what do we gonna do? We own thing. And they met their own closets or whatever. Strong women. Men deal with that. Right? Men deal with that. Man, cool with that. We get it. But as he's saying, as Kwame said, belligerent or combative, combative, argumentative, man are dealing with it. Right? Today's man wants subservience, but for women to work and pay 50-50. Lord have mercy. Who said that? That's Karen. Um, you want subservience? He, apparently, yes. So Kevin is saying, here's Juicy. Derek say you and Neil want traditional. Okay. Jimmy is saying submission is a bad thing. In all par partnerships, one partner is lower than the other. Does it mean they are less important? No, companies with dual C C CEOs always have problems. Sasha is asking, Sasha, love. Uh, welcome, Sasha. I haven't seen you before, so good to have you. Hello. What really is to submit? Someone please explain that. I hear it all the time from a man's mouth. All right, so I realize, I realize that as we go, we can get new people and we can go and say it again, but we can get yeah. there. Tanisha, submission does not equal subservience. Praise Jesus for you, Tanisha Cross. Tanisha. It does not. It does not. Exactly. I, I would really, I really wish, right, 
because I am certain, Tanisha, you as a married woman, you can verify for me in this chat at some point. There are certain things where your husband says, cross me doing X. And you say, sure, cool with me. If it is, if he says, cross me doing X, and you are like, I don't know how you feel about that. What do you think about doing Y? You all discuss it and come to the best decision. I am certain that happens within your marriage cross. I don't want to put you on blast in the chat, but hey, you can let us know if that is so. Just drop a one or a two in the chat, right? Um, or he should not have done it in the first place, but he was selected for the job by right of being male. But a real leader says Kwame, is, who isn't intimidated easily, will always look for the best person for the particular job. If a man wants to do the finances because he feels that the man's that is a man's job, but the woman is better at money, it makes no sense for him to do that. That's poor leadership. Preach the things. Karen, what really is to submit? She Karen says to that, uh, add what really is to lead, to be the head of the household. Can people define these things with certainty? Naked does not agree with Jimmy. I don't agree with this wholeheartedly. Partners should be seen as equal. It's about strengths and weaknesses. The partners need to complement each other. Yes. But you see, but, but you see, Naked, that's exactly the point. You see, <laughs> we're getting into some we're getting into semantics we here. We try to split hairs. We, we are splitting split hairs. hairs and trying to divide the difference. That is exactly what we are saying. Some people in a relationship, there are some women that that take care of all the finances in the household, has the name of all the business, and you want to stay home and be a house husband. Their dynamic works. We are not saying that we are not saying that, that man is lesser than a man because he is taking care of his home and, and, and providing stability within the home and the domestic area. We're, we're, not, we're not saying these things. It just so happens for them, that is what that dynamic is and what they're good at versus what they're not good at. Right, um, sure. Cheryl is saying it was a single parent. I did both roles, but I'm going to skip a couple comments and go to Kevin who says, no disrespect, but you can't do both. And I get the premise of what Cheryl is saying, but I, I, I agree with Kevin. Um, as a man that was raised by a single mother. Children need mother I, and father. I, children need mother and father. I, I, I appreciate a big respect to you, Cheryl. Yeah? We it's know not always it easy. I'm not, we know I'm not saying... Yeah. We both right. know who it is, to be yeah, honest. We, we both know who it is, but I get Kevin's point, right, wholeheartedly. And we, we don't need to go back and forth on that, I don't think. Submit means, says Jimmy, that after having a discussion with the other party, gives way to the decision of the other. Uh, shout out to you, TC. Good to see you, as always. Terencia. Steve, to Neil's point about rule change, is it a case of a rule being performed poorly or your ego says it's not done correctly because it's not done my way or I can do it better? This is about the supporting facts. Naked's point about running shit into the ground. Yes. No. No. We talk about submission, right? But really what submission should be talking about is submission of ego. We talk about this. I try to talk about it a lot. Now when you're in a relationship, you're in a partnership, you've got to submit your ego. I'm not talking about women. I'm not talking about men. It's all both. You need to submit your ego because your ego. Think of all the conflicts we have in the world. Think of all the man woman issues we got, the girl girl issues, the mama issues. Think of all the issues we have in this world. And I assure you, it is led by ego and greed. One can we can argue that one drives the other, but the point is, it's all about your ego. We and we, we talk about it. Basically, you ha somebody has to be deserving of submission. Somebody needs to be deserving of the the letting down of your ego and moving forward. Men and women, I see. We, you know, we see all the time. I'm a queen, and they deserve X, Y, Z. And men, you know, think that women should do and uh, cater to them. It is a submission of ego by both people. That's the only way that that can work. So if you know you are not good at paying bills as a man, and you know that you, you're taking money, you're going to drink beers and games and do all sorts of push with it, try to let a woman manage the household. Yeah. And try and clean up and cook same. That, that's all we're saying. Submit your ego. 
submit your ego. All right, Sharon is saying he had his dad there, but he always came to me for whatever his need was, even now, and that's expected. Yeah, that's generally how it goes, particularly within my girl, the my Caribbean. Girl, Auntie Cheryl. Auntie Cheryl. Um, Naker, not seeing this much nowadays. Many women tend to be that person to defend the family. In many cases, we have a lot of single parent homes. <laughs> All right, Kwame says, for the purposes of this convo, I'd have to not use single parent homes since there isn't a choice. Kevin, I may take some licks here, but in a relationship, there's absolutely no issue with being equals. But is it practical? A player has a pilot and a co pilot, a racing car, has a driver and a no caller. Jeez, but that's not break. important here. Someone has to lead. Kevin Seeley, the ladies call for you for this show, and you tell me, man, I don't want the boy, I don't want the other person. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Like, you, you approach, you approach, you approach, cut him, but coming on for this show? I did, I did. I can just to know, and in the comments, and in the comments, no, 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 cut him, man, no, cut him, man, that ain't, that ain't cut him, I know. You gotta do better, cut him. That ain't cut him, I know. Right, you're going forward, uh... Mark says, big up to moms, big up all the tiny tiny ones. Uh, Karen, mm -hmm. Nika, people seem to be forgetting this. There are majority female led single households. Therefore, the role of the female has seen a paradigm shift, hence the perceived masculine energy. Let me bounce off to another point and come back to the comments. Since Karen gave me the segue, right? Men don't like masculine women. We understand that you have been through the fire and been forged in fire and all that stuff. But women tend to be a little bit more aggressive. You find that women are way more willing to say, for instance, there are some women who will message you straight up and tell you X or Y um, with regard to what they want done sexually, right? And they don't have to be familiar with you or anything like that. Um, they're way more aggressive in that way. Um, and here's the thing. Society and I guess uh, thought culture, if you want to call it that, has told women that kind of like less is best. So less femininity. Sure, sure we've got what culture now, so less clothes. And these are things that men take issue with. Right, so let me talk about the aggressive um, female. And we talk about the and that masculine energy. Is it see? It's kind of like the same thing about the competition. The reality is, women don't want feminine men. They don't, even if they think they do, or would like to make us believe that they do, because it gets men to buy into this thing of um, this Disney love story and roses and chocolates and all that stuff. You don't want a man that is overly, um, let me see the word, use the word sensitive, right? You don't want that. You will still want the man, like, like all the Disney movies, we see the soft side of men, but at the end of the day, you still want the man. When it comes time to do his thing, do his role, do what he is good at, he executed without thought or consequence. Goes to the car, gets it done. Whatever that is. The, 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 the. Janelle is in the house. Janelle Riley Thornhill, good to see you. Janelle. That, that, that Janelle Riley Thornhill is the one I went to with us. Yeah, yeah, that's Janelle. I have not heard or seen that woman in. Hey, it's been a while. Been a hot minute. Um, oh, no, oh. she can't be aided perfectly. <laughs> this is hilarious to me. Carrie tells Dion, you're using outlier examples. The minority cannot be identified for the majority. Mm. And on that, mm. we agree, Carrie. Mm -hmm. Because, generally speaking, um, I, when we go, when we just rewind a couple of minutes to the beginning of the show, and they talked to police force and stuff like that, I was told that I got to be police officers. So let us not use the outliers. To the, 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 the minority to identify, wait, is it say exactly? 
to identify the majority. The majority. But anyhow, let's go for it. In a successful relationship, the submissive partner must be respected, valued, and honored. If you go along with what your head of household says only because it is commanded and demanded from you, that is a huge problem. We actually hate the word submissive because we imagine subservience, but that is so not what is intended in the context of marriage. Preach. Preach. No, no. To touch on that, I have never watched um, the Fifty Shades of Grey, but it has been explained to me, the book and the movies or whatever. And I think that when women or people in general, let me say people in general, because men are guilty of it too. When they hear submission, they think a woman that is at the back beck and call of her partner. Yeah. When we say submission, we, I, I, again, all of us have watched 300. All of us remember the scene where the Persians and the emissary for the Persians came to Leonidas and the Spartans and said, look, you give us some tributes, uh, bend the knee to, to Xerxes, and everything kosher. We ain't gonna come, we ain't gonna raise the hell. And Leonidas was telling him, you know, this is whatever, whatever, you, you can't come over here about any place. And just before he kicked him in the hole, before he did a thing that would throw his country into turmoil and all of Greece into turmoil, he looked at his wife. He looked at his wife to give confirmation and affirmation. And if you watch the movie, you will see that she plays a very advisory role as queen. They're still madly in love. They still have passionate sex. They still, you know raised their son, I think it was a son, yeah, their son in a magnificent fashion. But at the end of the day, he is the king and she is the queen. If a major decision comes up where he has to send his entire country into war, God taught the queen first. Got to seek that acknowledgement first. But if it taught, when it came to the matters of war, the queen didn't have much to say. Because that's the demand thing. But when it encompasses the entire household, when it uh, encompasses um, things that dictate the better or worse in your marriage or relationship or your household, that is a collaborative effort. But shoot, if we talk about carrying out with garbage, if we talk about washing dishes, cooking, folding clothes, if we're talking about, shoot, should we buy this new expensive disher, um, dishwasher or we could left it out? Let, it, let, let whoever's in charge of that role do it. If the man said, look, see me, we buy this fridge. It got Bluetooth, it got Wi-Fi, Alexa, Google, all this thing. And the wife said, but I just wanted to chill saying, I really need it to do all this here. But the man's role is that to, uh, to choose and uh, uh, pick up appliances. Then let the man do his job. If that is the woman's job, let her do her job. So, yeah, I, I, got, but, some, you know, I, I got some people uh, trying to figure out um, if men don't want form forward women, right? Now, here's the thing. Um, there's nothing wrong with a forward woman. There's nothing wrong with a man and his woman having that dynamic where she can say, she can send a message and say, I want X or whatever. There's something totally different when a woman decides, for example, I was at a fet one time and a woman walked and bit me on my nipple, right? I don't know a woman. If we reverse a situation like that, <laughs> sure, we don't know. I probably, I probably will be here to do this podcast. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying that within the, the confines, the dynamic of a relationship, that that's impossible. Of course, it's very much possible. It should be something that's happening. Like you say, your your uh, man a messenger and they say yes, we are X or Y. You know when they get one this evening. You know what I mean? Rest men yourself, drink your see moss. Yeah, men look forward to that kind of thing because a man knows, show when he left work, it's action tonight. So guess what? He ain't sticking up nowhere. He's home. However, if you're just a random woman, you just walk up to the man that you don't know, like, yeah, are you here? Give me some of that. For example, for example, a very real example, Neil and I both have a friend who a woman walked up to him straight. So, you doggy big? Yeah, he went to dance with the woman. He went to dance with the woman. I went, she went to dance. And when, before she started, she said, yeah, you got a big doggy. I want a boy wasting my time. Do you got a big doggy or not? And the man don't know this woman for Eve. He just come for a dance. And the woman, literally, first words to this man is, 
We were KB. Yeah. You know what I mean? Doesn't want that. That shit is scary. Yeah. So let me, let me backtrack a little bit because they see we, we. Okay, nothing really to to think on. So I see Natalia saying all oh, this boils down to mutual respect and proper communication. All of it. Without those two relationships, get nowhere. And that's a fact. Karen is saying, I'm raising my sons that there should be balance in the household. I never saw it, but I believe that's how it should be. If she cooks, he cleans, and vice versa. But but no. hold on to that point. There is nothing wrong in is nothing wrong in a person knowing how to do everything in a household car. Regardless, ma come, ma go, woman come, woman go, you gotta know how to cook, clean, take care of your house, do all those things. However, when somebody comes into your, that space and you share that space with someone, ain't nothing wrong with divvying up the roles and people taking charge and doing stuff. Right, so Karen is saying that what you just described is sexual harassment. Yes, nobody wants that. Um, Jennifer is saying I'm sending mixed messages. I'm not certain how. Um, um, Jennifer, I think Jennifer, I think Jennifer took exception to how you presented the talk about certain roles that men and women do in society. And it almost, I think she is saying it came over as you saying that men can only do these jobs and women can, cannot do these jobs. I, I can only assume that. And again, I don't get that impression. I, I, it, I never said me, that. We have not said any, we have never, we have not said anything or implied anything sexist on the show. I mean, if y'all, if, if the majority of y'all feel that way, then, you know, we can have a discussion around that. But I literally don't see anything wrong with what we're saying. We're staying in fact. Um, yeah, Cheryl says something that I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Cheryl said that we follow the good book. Women submit to your husband as to the Lord. Yeah, you can leave that where that is. We like the Bible sometimes. That's all I say. We like the Bible. We like the Bible sometimes. Yeah, um, uh, very success. Yeah, um, cross seems to be a little confused about the fact that that something like that actually happens. Um, no, that's fine. And I'm not lying. Hold, <laughs> not on, lying. hold on, hold on, we're not gonna speak for anybody else. I was in the middle of a fair in the middle of Juve Bay back in the day, and a woman I hadn't seen in a long time. Hey, we're going on, we hug, and you know, I ain't seen a long time. We catch up, catch up, and we do a little dance. And the woman faced me, took her hand and put down my pants into my underwear and did what she did and said, yeah, I don't want this for a long, long time. I, I tell the woman, I pulled away, I was like, yo. And she said, what happened? You don't want it? And I was like, and I looked at, and it was with, uh, I was with my best friend, everybody know Mark. I was like, yeah, Mark, it's, it's time to go. And Mark was like, what happened? Yeah, this, I, I am, I am feeling it's a kosher right now. So with that, Neil, let's take a little segue into another point. <laughs> and this is the point I'm bringing to the, the, the forum. Women don't want equality or equity. Mm. Let me repeat myself. Women don't really want equality or equity. So they don't want both? They don't want it. What do women want? It's going to be interesting. Privileges. Mm. Right? And I say that against this backdrop, right? So, when we look at, you know me, I'm a sporting guy. I like sports, I like basketball a lot, right? The WNBA plays, a matter of fact, um, I sent you a graphic there with Super Bird and LeBron James. It's up already. It's up already. I got it queued up already, boss. Cool. Production yeah. on top. So, let me let me see if we can take a little gander here and see what we're going on in the chat, if it's up or not. If I can actually get it up on my screen, that'd be great. Well, I ain't seeing it, but hey. Anyway, just give it, give it a minute. Right, so I'm gonna find it on my phone so I can talk about it from here, right? So you make the comparison between Sue Bird and LeBron James, right? Now everybody knows I am not the greatest LeBron James fan in the world. Everybody knows that. Elliot for life. Woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> But they both played 17 seasons in the NBA. They both won four um, championships. LeBron four in the NBA. 
Subert for any WNBA. This is where the similarities end. Subert, a four-time champion, her salary in 2020 is 215000 That's pretty good money. It would like to make 215000 um, But LeBron, on the other side, his salary for the same, the corresponding time, was $37.44 million. And then the bonus that Sue Bird received for winning the 2020 finals was $11,356. While LeBron received a handsome bonus for winning his finals of $370,000. Right? Right. And Terence is saying that slide shows the disparity that exists in the corporate world. But I'm going to use that to come and let's talk about what we really want. Because WNBA players are, because on face value, I agree with you, Terencia, that that um, shows a disparity, a, a vast disparity within the corporate world, right? Now, the WNBA plays a 36 game regular, se regular season, 36 games compared to the NBA's 82 game regular season, right? NBA games are 48 minutes. WNBA games are 40 minutes. <clears throat> WNBA players play with a size 6 ball. The NBA players play with a size 7 ball. The WNBA players get 20% of the revenue share compared to the NBA players getting 49 to 51% of the revenue share, right? Before I make my last point, WNBA players are up in arms over that 20% revenue share. They want a bigger piece of the revenue share, right? Which is fine until we start to look at the fact that since 1996, the WNBA is yet to generate a profit, even though they are subsidized by the NBA. They have netted a $10 million loss since inception. The NBA, however, has turned in a profit in billions of dollars. Right? Yet, WNBA players want the same things and the same portion of money as NBA players, even though they're bringing in less. Right? And I, I use that Let's not get caught up in the example itself, but I use that to see to show you how men are viewing the perspectives of women. I want this, even though I can't do or I am not doing the same as what the men are doing. Right? It may be different in the corporate world. Because this is where all the, the talk comes about pay gap, the wage gap, and all that stuff. We get it. We understand it. We acknowledge it for what it is. But are women going to go and do the same jobs that the men are doing? And this is now, let me backtrack to my original point in the beginning. Right? Because men, again, we like to compete. We don't have a problem with it. We don't have a problem with it at all. But we like to compete on a level playing field. So we talk about the patriarchy. Done with the patriarchy, toxic masculinity. The system, fam. You know, the system, misogyny, all those things. Right? But when we look at situations where man or woman commit a crime, man get more time. Man get more time. Man and woman go to court for the um, divorce proceedings. Who get in the children? Unless they are real wrong. Right? Depending on who the man is, man and woman go to court for divorce proceedings. Who can end up paying in terms of alimony, um, spousal support, 
these are the things that men take issue with. And men have begun to feel as if they are competing on an uneven playing field. Don't shoot the messenger. This is what it is. Men feel as if you're playing field. They are playing in a game that they cannot win. They feel like they're playing in a game they cannot win. And again, I tell you, don't shoot the messenger. This is just what it is from the perspective of men, right? Let me dive in the chat here because I'm pretty sure that we've gone. Well, but, uh, before you before you go on there, right there, I will say yeah. this, right? Uh, I understand the point you were trying to make when it comes with the WNBA and the NBA, right? And how one player is a lot larger than the other, therefore the percentage makes more sense. For example. 50 or 49% of a million dollars is a lot different than 50% of $10, right? Um, but I will say this. Now, now, obviously, that is an extreme 1% situation, right? And I know that people may hold on to that example and say that's not a real-world context of understanding. But the point still remains that, you know, I don't know if I necessarily say women don't want equality and equity, I think that women say they want equality, but it, it can't be, you cannot have equality for everything. And let me explain what I say by that, right? Because yes, you can have equality as a human being, as citizens of a country, as uh, people with rights to vote, healthcare, all of those things, right? Anything that, that is about governance and humanity in terms of health, well-being, that kind of stuff. Equality makes sense. Yes, you want benefits, everything like that. Men and women should have those benefits, right? But equality, you really want equality, right? That means that certain privileges that both men and women have should be canceled out. Yes, we can always point to the, the privileges that men get, and men have, and men have access to, and we could say, shoot, we women want access to that. But then when it comes to the flip side, you made mention of it, of a court. If I go to court uh, to fight a custody battle with my child, more than likely, I will lose. Regardless of what my thing is. And that is just what the system is. Right? And, 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 and the point is, is that... Right. Equity is having a system where the system works for both people, right? And while the system may not be there in terms of working, in terms of pay, for example, in certain aspects and certain jobs, there are still certain things that women get privileged for and privileged whatever. We, it's only the other day we starting to get paternity leave and that kind of thing. You understand? So, so we got kind of... We got to kind of be careful when we talk about equality, equity, and we talk about wanting the same things because it is a simple fact. It is a simple fact. Men cannot be women and women cannot be men. And there will be certain societal perks that will come with being a Correct. man and there will be we some societal it, perks with being a woman. We call it a double standard, but there's, as you said, there's certain things that benefit you. So there's certain things the double standard benefits you. There's certain things it doesn't benefit you. For example, men get to sleep with whoever they want. The more numbers, the better. More often than not, unless it's like a crazy number. Women, not so much. That's the double standard. That's what it is. You're not saying, it. hold on. We're not, saying it. That we're not saying that this is right or it is wrong. But it is what it is. Um, Terencia, for example, is saying, how many shines are you being called? So I'm on her. Zero. And I am sure that plenty of times people were like, how, how, how? I still playing in the game. I feel I cannot win. So I play the game. Exactly. You play the game. And to borrow some, um, a term that, that we don't really like to use, your man you play the game. You know what I mean? Um, no, he's not oh, saying no, that no, maternity no. leave is a, is a privilege. Um, but it's just something that we just ain't getting. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I seen it starting to get. You, you see, this is the point that we're trying to make here, right? In terms of what we are saying and how the information is being received. We are not saying or negating or 
diminishing paternity leave. I mean, maternity leave, sorry. We are not, we are not saying that childbirth is not an immensely dangerous, treacherous, emotional everything for women. We are not saying that. We are not saying that. We are not saying that when they're going to be home, we're going to feed up for three months and want to put on a mini vacation. We are not saying that. However, the same way, we are not, uh, men are not asking for paternity leave for three months, you know, but while you are incapacitated and taking care of the child in your maternity leave, you may need somebody to take care of you, take care of Caesarean section. Women have caesarean sections. Give birth, everything like that. Maternity leave, that caesarean section can take literally years to heal. But in the context of maternity leaves, you want well, a man to be a woman. I don't want us to be um to be getting caught up in the the well the the, the intricacies of um Caesarean sections and stuff like that. There are certain things that come along with being a man. There are certain things that come along with being a woman. And in the as and um, Terence referred to it as the game. Within the game, you acknowledge what appeals. Sorry, but not apl what applies to you, right? And as such, I could never apply for maternity leave. That's just a reality. That's just a reality, right? Um, by the same token, I have never been to a men's night at a club yet in life. You will right? never either. Well, I, depends it, on the time, club. Time changes, so you never <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, different times, right? so it depends on the club. And I, I, I already gave the example of um, men being able to sleep with who they want, no repercussions, no consequences, women not so much, right? So let's not um, get bogged down in the splitting the hairs and stuff like that. Uh, Sasha is saying that that is a lie. I'm not sure, sure where the lies are that I've told tonight. So Sasha, I think she's talking about, you see, I, I think she's talking about paternity leave. I never spoke We are not saying, we are not saying leave. that certain territories, we are um, not saying that certain territories are not getting paternity leave. We are not saying that nobody in the world as a man don't get paternity leave. Uh, we were not speaking in the context of a privilege. We were speaking in the context of there are examples, granted, you may argue that they're anecdotal, but there are examples where the system is not geared toward men. We are not, and, and this is not a conversation where we are ma versus woman. We are simply saying that from our perspective, we do not believe that women truly, like, I wonder if we all understand what equality means within the context of a system, within the context of society. Because equality, you cannot have equality in a society. There's yes. equality of turn, opportunity, which, which, which is fine. Opportunity Everybody agrees with our premise. With right Opportunity, with equality of outcomes is something very different. If it is right. that you are, going to, you are going to go into a situation where... Um, okay, there's a reason you got male and female at the Olympics because shedding our phrase a little real fast against the women. But guess what? Running it, so, um, whoever running now, Tyson Gay, you see him, or whatever, she ain't making the final to provide perspective. She runs 10 point, whatever, right? Then a Safa Powell was in that um final and he pulled a hamstring or whatever. The matter came last run 10 flat. He came dead last. Flat. He came dead last. So there are certain things that happen that apply to men. There are certain things that happen that apply to women. That's what it is. And we need to just acknowledge that that is what happens and that is what it is. And stop trying to behave as if it isn't so. Right? Which leads me to Accountability. Now, I know this is a, 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 a pet word for you. Uh, accountability. Right? What is it? And let me talk now. 
everybody makes bad decisions in life. But we get it, right? But women, understand that sometimes your decisions will have consequences that are a little bit more significant for you than for us, right? Mm -hmm. um, I tell you, I tell you, watch a lot of paternity court. And uh, one of the phrases that um, Judge Late we use is mama's babies, papa's maybes. Mama's may babies, papa's maybes. Meaning, if you're pregnant, the world know, especially when you get like six, seven months. Can't really hide it. But nobody know who the man is. That man get the walk away, right? No. Here's the thing. You can't make terrible decisions. And then, sorry, let me take out terrible. You can't make decisions and then not want the rewards or the consequences. Let me use the rewards for them. And then, even worse yet, you choose to blame men for those decisions. When those men choose not to bail you out of your decisions, the decisions that you have made. We both to get a little touchy, right guys? We both to get a little touchy. How many men you how many women you know? You hook up with a man that you know from jump was a dud. You knew from jump he was a dud. You hook up with a man, everything cool, everything good. You sex nice, you got a baby. Fast forward nine months, baby comes. But guess what? Dude is still a dud. He was a dud before you met him. He was a dad when you met him. Suddenly, no through the pregnancy, we got problems or whatever. When they're quarreling, when they're arguing, in a better roses, baby come it even worse. And you and he decide when they're done. And now you decide to ether this man on social media. Every chance you get, you decide to preach that men ain't shit, men ain't this, men ain't that. Here's the thing. Who chose said man? Because I remember a couple episodes ago, more than a couple now, uh, Neil was talking about, you were talking about your, your, your stuff and some of the experiences you had. And one of the responses to that was, you need to change your dating pool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The fault is on change. me. The fault is on you. Ladies, you cannot choose poorly. And then say, all men in shape. Right? If you want a man, a certain kind of man, you're going to have to shop for that man. And here's the thing. Let's say you were going to buy a car. You are not going in at Mercedes-Benz with Alto money. Well, it ain't Alto, no, is it? Is it Ignis? You're going in with Ignis money. So it means you got to make sure that you put yourself in a certain position. You gotta make sure you're looking good, you're smelling good. You gotta make sure that um, you could carry yourself a certain way. Call that your currency when you go to buy this top of the line vehicle that you're looking to buy or you want to get. Don't expect that you can just present yourself anyway, oh, argumentative and combative as. Um, the Nairon was strong and independent. We get it. We appreciate it. But you can't be argumentative and combative, um, which is ignis money. And you going in there and telling Kiffin, yeah, not Kiffin, who's uh, Debbie, Debbie Simpson? You're going to tell Debbie, yeah, yeah he wants to see class. Ain't going to work. You ain't got the money. You ain't ready for this ride. So, ladies. It's hard to say a man ain't shit. But I heard a long time ago relationships are reflective. So if you want to attract a certain kind of man, 
at some point, the common denominator can be you. It's all I can say. For men and for women, at some point, you could, like, red women could, red women can only do so much. But if you're there, only red women, I, no, no, I'm serious, because no, this, is a, this is a, no, 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 defender. Show Hold on. That but, but that's, that's <laughs> the point I'm trying to get at. But that's the point I'm trying to get at. The point I'm trying to get at is that we we all have generalizations and stereotypes, right, in society. Red women in this, men in that, tall men in this, black man that, men with curly hair that, men with pretty eyes that. We got all sorts of different things. Yeah, and boy. the point is, if every person... Men with dimples in the use. Yeah. If every man you date is of a particular type, whatever it is, and if all of them always fail and end in disaster, at some point, you go look at yourself, though. Um, no, there is a point being made here where um, I just want to clarify something. Jennifer is saying that we were saying in society, you, you'd be pretty much saying to take what's going on and shut up. That's not what we're saying. Anisha actually made yeah. a very good point. I, everybody yeah. is calling her. Wait, wait. I, I, let me look for it, man. I don't want to speak. Um, Jennifer says, uh, uh, right, because something is so doesn't mean we have to accept it. Life is about change and growth. We agree. We are not, you see, you see, we are, again, Tanisha actually made, uh, said it best, right? We live in a gendered society. Does it, is it good? We are not saying that it's good. You see, the original statement that was made is that we find some women want, some women say they want equality. But really and truly, if they really wanted equality and what comes along with it, and certain things were stripped away because of that equality, they might find it not to be so comfortable. Because... Okay. Yeah, I see in a comment here about C2 South, but I can um, see the entire thing. C2 South? Um, but because... And it's because something is so doesn't mean we have to accept it. I'm not sure what that is. Really much. Okay, cool. Um, so you mean, uh, this is, Nick, you mean Ricard, you mean um, yeah. like Ricardo Atkins? Yeah, Some insider it? information, C2 South was pushing, to, um, pushing for opportunity to leave across the public service. Oh, okay, 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 that's okay. Right, right. Uh, three, three children from three different women in the same month, how you just manage that first. So that's that's looseness, and it, yeah, I mean, to leave that here. Um, as <laughs> we're the rules are constantly evolving with it, it's not about accepting it. Okay, cool, yeah, you deal you deal with that already. When I say dud, what I mean, um, okay, for example, um, Terence here, let me see here, dud might be a case of he's a man, don't work, never work no way, never hold a job, no way, you know what I mean? Um, he living. I can't even call it paycheck to paycheck. So you live in um, um, part-time hustle to part-time hustle. Yeah? So you know he's not really in a position to provide for you. Shoot, he ain't even in a position to provide for himself. So, as yeah. you and a child. But you get a child with him, you bring each other to term, and suddenly you expect that this man miraculously can turn into somebody else. Nah, it ain't gonna happen. Um, Claire says she no say she gotta use that word tomorrow. It sounds a dud. He's a dud. A misfire a miss like Justin Firing. You know what I mean? Um Yeah, Derek that takes into concept giving a man a chance because he has potential. Yeah, and here's the thing, right? Not that Cross is saying that. We spoke a couple of weeks ago about hypergamy, right? And there's a concept, there's a concept, a school of thought there that women come in at the end. When a man has reached the finish line and is celebrating the triumph, yes, I made it to the pinnacle or whatever, right? And they are not prepared to join in and help him along the journey or whatever. There's a school of thought there that that is the case, right? Now, if that's the case, because we know that there's some women who do that, I don't blame them. I don't blame them because you see this potential thing? That's what made me play with uh, Carol Hooper for years. <laughs> we played Carl Hooper for years. <laughs> and he is a dud. The definition of 
Listen, listen, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, sir, sir, sir. We are yes, not. Sir. This platform has not been designed for you to bring up sporting icons that you have a gross with. Okay. Very well. Okay. So please, sir. Sorry, sir. Left out the brawl. Left out Kara Hooper. Right. The man that hurt you. Anthony in a in a in a whole country. Caramel has enough potential. A ringless. Dud. Right. Marlon Samuels. Another day, another day, right? We get caught up in potential, right? Because the car look good, it pretty. Being concerned with if the with the engine working good, if it like running. A, Bugatti. a great example is a Bugatti. A Bugatti. Yeah. Zero it, to sixteen, whatever. A, a million dollar car look pretty. That's terrible from from mileage. From mileage, you can't drive. You can, I can't drive that from here to town. But don't stop it for gas. You know what I mean? So we got some gear caught up in the, the how pretty it look, or the um, yeah. Terence say I ain't getting pregnant for you if you're not meeting how I see the person I want. Yes, yes, back, yes, yes. If you know, no, no, let me talk. Let me talk the team, uh, senators. Let me talk the team. Well, let me go faster. Everybody know that sex would be nice. Everybody knows this. Sex nice. Sex you love it. Right. It's all right. Sex it's all nice. right. Between, mm-hmm. between, I know Marvin Gaye talk about it, two consent, and that's all is good. You know what I mean? But don't let two walk ups and a squeeze pooch put you in something that you can't escape. 10 minutes of 10 seconds of passion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't do that. You keep your head on even when it's sweet. Tanisha, don't be fair, shit happens. Just that you gotta own your shit and own and your own role in the sick. Situation when the preaching, hold on, what's that word? What it begins with air, Derek? What's the word? Accountability, Accountability. and from our perspective as men, this is where the equality part comes in and how it's all tied in because there are certain situations where women need to own up. Just men gotta do it too, yeah. I because like every time I see Tanya saying that. Um, women should have known better when it is bad choices and not a mere issue. But when men make their mistakes, it isn't choice. It is women this and women that and that. And that's exactly what Neil is going to say. It's not that. It's not that at all. You feel that men don't know be, be, behind the eyes and between the ears. They do some junk. They really have no, way, no reason in this particular should situation. Have left, should have left that all. Should, they should have left that way. Was, that's my bad. And do we say that? You know what we I mean? all have that. Listen, we all have that one that we should have left and left it on like so. Yeah. That passed through all so, We got so, all of them. Okay, they can say, but Derek, sometimes you don't know you've chosen poorly until well in the game. On the flip side, if it did six men at the same time, it's frowned, frowned upon. Not necessarily. Men are seen as top shot as if they can manage the scenario. How do you propose we shop around? But in dating and not speaking of but you did think I'm not speaking about correct. Okay, I am going to assume that I am not speaking about sexual terms. And that's exactly why coming to Nika, there's absolutely no, nothing wrong with you saying to me and you saying to Neil, listen, fellas, I am um, going to cool and everything. I ain't got a problem with getting out. Just we feel out and see what this is, where it's going, if I like you, if I don't like you. But know that I gain up with Neil too. And it's up for me to decide if I, if I it or in that situation it. or not, right? Um, I, had, I had a very lovely lady I used to date who would say, give me the opportunity to make an informed decision, right? Anyhow, so yeah, there's nothing wrong with you dating around. Sleeping around now is a totally different concept, right? And I'm not I'm sleeping around for sleeping around sake. Hold sake. on, there's a difference yeah. too. Because sleeping around in the context of dating... You know, an argument could be made for that man or woman. But if you're sleeping around just as Cheryl says, she just want a good day, you're just sleeping around for a good day. Or good vagina. I mean, let's be honest. If you're sleeping around for sleeping around sleep and you just... That's up to you. Um, and in 2021, you know, far for me to tell a woman how she should... And do, I, I, love somebody, I, I love some of the comments we, that we've gotten doing this podcast, how she should control the agency of her parts, right? I would never do that, right? 
But as Cross is saying, date them all and well, Lord, Cross, Cross it, it, it lost me the last part. Date them all, but I think you need to say it up front because if you date them all and don't say, then you can, it could get messy. It so get let's say everybody know, well, look, are you talking to so and so and so and so? And trust me, that's a way better way to go because then suddenly you real the fella will decide if he wants to compete. The fella that just that interested will probably be willing to compete. The fella that just want to hit and roll, gonna do it, gonna roll because he ain't getting a hit. You know what I mean? Um, Terence is saying that it started at the exterior before you get to the interior. So there's no way you cross him door without certain attributes. So dating is necessary to get to know a person. Dating and having sex are my TC type people. Dating and yeah. having sex are two different things. Amen and amen. Um, uh, Kevin. So there's a key. When you do females choose to go against what society tells them? But as it taints here a few a bit, the female swing left. But then they say this is what men do. Shop around if you must to find additional happiness. Yeah. Everybody's saying it. Shop around. Yeah. You can only get by and turn you if you're loose. Well, if you're loose. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with you going out dating people, but there's something else now when everybody know about your viscous inner, right? Shout out the mediocre stories <laughs> and reviews. All right? Um, <laughs> keep walking. If you ain't walking, do a Johnny Walker. Do a Johnny Walker. Jeez, dog. And Cheryl is saying, all I really want is good dick, mutual respect, and someone to kill these spiders. Well, all I right. Don't, I, I don't think that's what you want. That, that sounds good in theory, huh? That sounds pretty good in theory. Uh, it's all good. It's all about right. <laughs> to me, mutual yeah. respect, yeah. Somebody to kill the sp spiders if you use spiders to encompass all the insects, yeah. That's a good day, yeah. Can't beat that. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. 237 and always, but, but you know, well, I know what you mean by 237. If you break it, for me, man, the only reason I have at 236 next to a woman is, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, Damien and Daniel talking about Mario Sanders and Carol Hooper facts. Uh, like, you honestly, know, but many times there's a guy over there that just needs a chance, but he's overlooked because he ain't wearing Armani Gucci. Facts. 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 You see, Torres is telling me that Carol got pretty shots. Nick says that was a good one. I assume that's the Carol Hooper one. Please um, do not, do not, do not pop up this man to talk about. Uh, disappointing sporting heroes. Don't do that. Well, uh, Toya says that uh, Cheryl is assigning a male gender role to kill this. I tell her to kill the spiders herself. Uh, yeah, man, but some, we, we know how it goes. I am not afraid of spiders. I'm just saying. Terence is saying he doesn't need our money. He needs to have a vision for himself of where he wants to go. And then what is your role there, Terencia? What is your role there? Where, what do you see your role as if he has a vision for himself and he knows where he wants to go? What do you consider your role to be where he's concerned? Okay, we just swim on. I see Tonya asking me, asking me if I could. I go ahead, Tonya. That's that's all. I, and Damien is coming back to you know, Damien is saying men also need to take responsibility and have accountability. What kind of bad one knowing you don't want a future with her? We all know at least one guy. And I'm pretty sure we know more than one Damien. You're a so so right. If you and know that, caught. And you, you get, get caught, catches, you get like caught. Carl Hooper. You mean, you know. <laughs> Carl Hooper on five. Yeah. You know, one good cover drive and then that done. It ain't, ain't worth it. it. Ain't worth it. Kevin is saying to Cheryl, he showed me he know where he could direct you to Amazon for that man. <laughs> Ricardo Atkins is reminded me of um, an old teacher I used to work with. He would call it a WWF, a wild waist. Rhymes with soup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, Money is not the ultimate, but does he have a plan? What is his vision for the future for himself? He may not be working now, but is he actively trying to do something with his life? I, I agree with Terencia here. I agree with Terencia here. Do not pick up 
no effects a rapper. And I'll tell you, Neil, I don't remember, I don't know if you remember, right? Maybe we were still in school. I lent to you uh, a video tape, right? Of a movie called The Money Pit. With yeah, Tom yeah, Hanks, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 the yeah. The yeah. Money Pit. They bought this, I think it's Shelley Long. Tom Hanks is Shelley Long. They're in a relationship. They buy this massive uh, mansion. Um, they got it on the cheap, right? Uh, they, they go in, everything good. You get a big house on the cheap, all is well, you know what I mean? And immediately on getting the keys, all kind of things start going wrong with this house. Guys, yeah. check it out. If you um, got time tonight after the, the Senate, you can go and check it out. Call the money I pay. Sorry, yeah. Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. I mean, the doors mm-hmm. falling off, the stairwell fall off, falling. In leaking, the and leaking, and it leaking, pipes. had sewage yep. in the pipes, you know, and then they yeah. had to spend a whole set of money trying to repair it. So I agree with you, um, Terencia, left out that fixer. And ladies, trust me, left out the fixer uppers. You don't want that. As Terencia said, if you ain't walking, keep walking. Da, 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 da. Toya is asking if you're good, Neil. So just let the people know right. who you are. Hey, all right, man. Just a headache. We're not in the sun today, so. Uh, um, I can be good, man. Thanks for the concern. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> right. We just keep strolling through. <laughs> okay, Karen is saying. Got plenty of women I know, including myself, who thought they had that in a man, but end up single mothers. But we, we, we touched on this uh, a couple of episodes ago, Karen. So I think you really can be a hit and a miss. Um, and and there's, there's one way to kind of minimize that. Um, and again, I, I really want to be careful addressing this because they don't want to give anybody the, the wrong impression that um, suddenly uh, I am high and mighty or I am past the Derek Marshall or any of those things, right? Mm. And let, let me say, I am not married to my daughter's mother. Neil is not married to his son's mother, right? But, and we talked about it before, so the family know where you're going. Um, we talk about marry before you carry. I know within the West Indian context, that's not what we do. We, 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 we don't do it that way. We tend to kind of get the children, start to build a life, and then try to see if we could kind of sort Make it, it work in the minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it work I mean? in the minute. Um, I don't want anybody to believe by, the, by any stretch of the imagination that uh, my daughter was let it get caught, and that was maybe the reason that I have no daughter. Nah, that wasn't the case at all. But again, I think we need to approach these kind of situations a little bit more, if I want to be better words, seriously, right? Please, ladies and gents, do not feel that I am judging anybody in the chat the decisions that they've made where this is concerned right because as i said i'm in the same boat as everybody else as a man who is not married to my daughter's mother right having said that i think we need to approach it because uh karen and i can speak to you specifically because you're the person that brought it up um if we had, not we, if ladies had kind of pushed for that commitment, say, look, you want a child from me, but you got to get married for us. I, I think, not I say, and I say out loud, I suspect that the birth rate would be significantly lower, right? Um, but again, let me be very clear. I'm not judging anybody for the decisions they have made where that is concerned, because I know that that is a very, very touchy subject, right? 
and I'm not judging you for the decisions you have made in that regard, right? But for me, even for me, it would have been better for me in that situation to say, look, let me get married and do this thing the right way, as Tonya um, talked about um, a couple of weeks ago with her friend who got married after having any children because he thought it was the right thing to do. I, I right? would say, I just, I just want to chime in here and say, to Derek's point, I agree. Uh, I'm not saying that I regret my son. I love my son to death. I think he is the best thing I've ever done, and he has saved my life. Um, what I will say is, if I had to, if I could have tweet how things were done before, I would have married um, and then have my son. And I think that would have, not saying it would have been any better. I'm not saying the outcome would have been the same. I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is, I feel as though um, with marriage, comes a level of commitment and a, a more willingness to work through certain things. Correct. Than, Correct. Than to have a child and then try to figure out in the end. You know what I mean? And that's it. Uh, I see some here. Once again, Mills, we're trying to find that comment. Once again, Mills, many Mills are not honest about the fact that they are shopping around. Each of those six women will be made to feel they are the one true. I wouldn't even argue that point. Right? I wouldn't even argue that point. There are a lot of men that do that. Um, Kevin is asked, suppose he doesn't know his vision. How it works or everyone uh, ever had anyone to point him well, in the direction I assume. Right? Which is why I'm saying, don't get in a fixer upper. Make sure that he knows where his vision is. When he intend to go, make sure you plan that path. Your job is to hand you a cup of water. Boy, Paul, if you bro, make sure you get to the finish line. Jump out of your finish line with it. But no matter, I ain't buying no track shoes, nor no, no buying no running shoes, not a sore. You can come and let me go and buy some running shoes. Let me buy a little sharp pants so you can run in. You want water bottle? And then you get to the end and they say, my look. I hear no, you don't you want this here. Nah, don't do it. Yeah. I see some comments here that I love in though. Um I don't know. I I, I don't want to lose them, right? But um the initial the same marriage equals lots of give and take, aka sometimes submitting with the eyes. I don't know if she's being dangerous or she being serious, but I love that comment. I really, really do love that comment because you know submitting is not getting in the kitchen. Only wear skirts. I only want you to wear high heels. Keep your foot in the air. Don't ask me about my business. That is not submission. Submitting is give and take. Compromise. Um, submission of egos. Uh, Jennifer says, Derry actually heard a softer energy just now, and it didn't make you any less masculine. That may have a tinge of bad mind in it. But that's she was talking tinge. about it. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. But that's okay. I see cross supporting it as well. But I have all my ladies, okay? Just all my... Nothing. Um, yeah, Tanisha, I know, I know you're being serious, right? I know you're being serious. It's just the comment with the eyes, you know. I don't know, but you are correct. Um, I, I think you understand exactly what I mean, and everybody understand. Well, I'm hoping everybody gets to a position where they understand the submission part. Uh, and for <laughs> men like there and I, myself, I want to. I want to. I want to for us within the, the, the confines of the Senate or whatever, kind of rejigger or re, reconstruct the, the thinking about submission. Let's look at it as two words. Sub, as in under, supporting the mission. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's Wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just made that, you just came up with that or you got that from somewhere else? I got that from somewhere else, man. Come on, I had that really. Oh, 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 oh my God. So that, is, that is, sub -support. I want ones I in the chat. I want ones in the chat. I wish I could take the credit for it, right? She. I, think, I think the guy's name is George Macon. I think that's his mm. name. Um, sub, sub, under, supporting the mission. Look at it that way. And we get a little bit more cooperation, right? Mm. The men just want to look for operation. They don't want the combativeness, argumentativeness. Because when it's that kind of vibe, a man can just... Because don't feel like men are intimidated. 
but it, or or yeah, a man who walks away from it just ain't got the fight in him or whatever. He just doesn't think. Ladies, this might sting a little bit, right? He just is not emotionally invested in this particular argument. And as such, he invests in the energy to look horrible at it. That is what it is. Uh. Yeah, so let me let me let me sub support the mission across. Yeah? Support the mission. Um I see my 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 co my co host is um probably you know out to all here a little bit. But um, um but 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 I wanna make sure granted I'm not feeling the best, but I wanna make sure that we because I actually like can how this podcast is going in terms of there was a little we, we were we were we got pushed back, we got challenged. And now I think everybody is kind of seeing where the semantics got out of position. And now I think you know, Jennifer and, and everybody's kind of understanding where we're coming from. Um, but I want to make sure that we've covered everything you wanted to talk about tonight uh, in terms of the issues and problems with women, and especially that last point about the equality, uh, equity argument and the privileges that come along with either one. I just want to make sure because granted we could come back to this and more than likely we will come back to it because as we get well, new people to the community because people were coming in and saying submission, what submission mean new people not seeing certain episodes so i just want to make sure though that you're comfortable in terms of what we've discussed yeah you've I, covered I, all I, your points I, I comfortable i am I comfortable i'm always comfortable um so I, I i have no real issues so far i think i think we'd be pretty good uh but shoot this is a conversation that we definitely can go back and forth with and um well, as you say I we probably will I actually love the fact that we have uh, Tanisha in here, someone that is married, yeah. and understands the daily rigors of that. I don't know anybody else that's in here that's married, so if I, you know, I know people were married, but someone that's actively married yeah. and speaking up, I actually love the fact that uh, she's giving insight into some of the terms and concepts that we're talking about, and that is not coming from a place of, um, you know, us saying... You know, that old Bible trope or traditional marriage of submit to your husband. If the man say you want sex, try to get on all fours and take it like a champ. Like, you're not saying that. You're not saying go and make the man a sandwich when the man calls for it. Like, hey, you, come and make me a sandwich. We are not saying that. We are saying, my man said it. But I, I actually so love that. I, I got to write that down because that is so powerful. It is submitting yeah, Claire is married as well, uh, Terence, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, um, I'm sorry, I forget. Clear is, clear is, sorry, clear. Clear, clear is not um, as vocal in the chat as um, Cross is. So Cross, Cross is saying she thinks we should come back to the equality and equi the equity and equality argument in another podcast. Oh, oh sure. She didn't fully sure. agree. We can do that. Cross, are you willing to be a part of that particular discussion? Um with us. If, if you are, just let us know. We'd be happy to have you and engage you. Um, try to get Kevin and Terence here to hook up and organize you. And that's another day. thing. Now that, you bring, now that you bring back up Kadin, right? Kadin come in talking about how one he ain't in a space that can't do save. He get in late. Son, you are not every Tuesday and Thursday for the last two to three months the men just keep sending at 8 o'clock sharp. We ain't expect you to come for the music. However, <laughs> We just come be here at 8 o'clock sharp. As you the minute said, you know the Senate is choosing at Thursday at 8 o'clock. Set it yourself properly. I'm true. Listen, brother mine, I know you may be afraid, right? Or you may not want that pushback. But you know what? We don't want the pushback neither, but we feel that the conversation needs to be had. So what do we... Is Either we do nothing and continue feeling like men and women can't see on a certain level, or... We put our necks on the chopping block to see if we can really get chopped off, or if people can say, okay, I understand leniency. So, all right, cross. I, I see you cross. I, 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 I understand the situation. So, oh, congratulations. Yeah, congrats congratulations. to you. Um, the, the fittest Ronald Jones pregnant Jones said here person I've ever seen. Uh, I was just about to say, um, was I sure I see? We can I definitely see, um, put down this, this topic for you, cross. Yeah, we can definitely put on this topic for you. Um, and we can we can revisit it and we can have a discussion about it. But 
yeah, guys, I think we had a good a good discussion tonight, as always. Um, get in there, like the page, follow the page, share it with your friends, invite your friends to come. Uh, spread the word out there. Uh, I see Jennifer saying that I showed her it was human. Only a little bit sometimes, uh, not often. Listen, listen, uh, I can tell you about Derek. No, right? I, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk Derek, right? As long as I know Derek, Derek, Derek has always been stoic. Derek has always been a man that the public at large and even those closer closest to him, my man ain't budging. But he's human. I am I am a person that I more wear my emotions on my sleeve and you know, I am but you know, there is who he is. He is human, he is a man, all man. And you know, but but men have emotions too, and this is a perfect this is the perfect dichotomy to, to, to point out. There is who he is, stoic, quiet, reserved to himself. I am the more person to be outgoing with my feelings and emotions. We are men. I am just as much a man as Derek, and Derek is just as much a man as me. And, and I feel it like between Derek and myself, we cover a good cross-section of men in society. I ain't saying we cover all. I ain't saying that they ain't a man somewhere that can do it different. However, this is who we are. Yeah, man. For sure. So thank you guys for tuning in. We had another thank great you. session. We really, I, I really enjoyed it. appreciate it. I enjoyed it too. Um, big up. Uh, I think it was Sasha who called me a liar point blank <laughs> in the uh, thing. Uh, but not sorry, no, she didn't call me a liar. She said that it was some statement it was a lie. But I think I think that came down to you see, I but think I, again, I, 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 yeah, 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 that's not way Um, so it's a it don't, then things don't phase me, you know, as, uh -oh. Uh -oh. as you said. I am I'm the stoic one, the stoic reserve musician. I know, right? It's a little odd out there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You ain't reading that comic? Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm not sure what, what we're referring to. Sorry, to what oh, we're no. referring to, if Renee is in the chat. So I'll leave it there. Oh, no, she's no, calling. No, 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 I don't mean, I don't mean Renee. I don't mean Renee. I mean, yeah, I see Jennifer, but I, I did I corrected the same tact so that um, Renee won't be offended if she's in the chat. Um, or the English teachers for that energy, for, uh, for that matter. All right. Um, so yeah, guys, we really enjoyed it. We had a great one. It was awesome. At some point, hopefully, we will get to do this in a live space. Oh, and that's something we're working on. Yeah, but we want to make sure that it's right. We want to make sure that yeah, actually, okay. we got to do some testing it here. Um. So yeah, Nika saying she didn't see my human side. Hmm. But yeah. Uh, you, know, you, know, like, you know what I realize in this whole process? Because a lot of people in this chat know us from school, from, you know, different aspects of life, right? And it's so funny how people are perceiving us through this, yep. this uh, interruption. It's so, it, is, it really is so funny because, you know, I thought people kind of understood and knew who we were in terms of how we get down. But it's just, it's just so funny to see how people view you. In this yeah. Context. yeah. Anyhow, yeah. People, guys, um, share, share the page, like the page, check us out on Instagram, the Senate Podcast two four six, the Senate Podcast on YouTube as well. Email anything to Senate in session at gmail .com. And as always, guys, we encourage you to be the best version of you for you, and we are going to see you guys next week. Thank you so much for coming out. We love on the bye. Yep. Uh, happy. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day to everybody. Yep. Um, so, love y'all. Take care. Thanks for your support and engagement. Love. See you next week.